Hey there, what's up everyone? And in this video, we're just gonna talk a little bit about what we've been up to in the past week of development wise. So we've been lucky enough to get a new update ready, which is gonna be 0.4.2, and it fixes a couple of bugs which are related to Blender 3.0 and 3.1, which are in beta and alpha stage, I think. And that's pretty exciting because it's going to mean we can actually support Cycles X. So if you want to distribute rendering and use the Cycles X engine, that's actually going to be possible. We've just got one more bug that we're waiting to be fixed, but that's actually on Blender side of things. So if you do actually try and use our latest software with either Blender 3.0 or 3.1, it will crash if you're using the local machine for rendering. We're going to post a workaround for that, so stay tuned for that. It'll probably either be in the description below or in an article we'll write somewhere we'll do something so that you can get that to actually work because there is a workaround but there is a problem with it so 042 yeah it's going to be good it's going to support cycles x and other things we've been working on you can now actually support our project just using a credit card so we've worked pretty hard so that you have another option to paypal because a few people were basically saying that they either couldn't use paypal PayPal, PayPal, sorry, or they just hate PayPal. So either way, good news, you can now just use a credit card. And actually, it's even better than that because when you do use that particular way to pay, all of the perks and access is unlocked as soon as the transaction goes through, which is pretty much, you know, seconds. No having to wait for us to do it by email. PayPal, if you still want to use PayPal, there is still that wait though. So, you know, just tempting you towards using the other system that we built. So that's pretty good. As for future stuff, um, we're gonna be working on, well, I'm gonna be working on frame splitting, which is a new mode of rendering, which is what a lot of people have been asking for, as well as various other stuff. And Jez has also been working on something pretty cool, Ballet. we'll talk about that. Yeah, so I've been working on redoing our syncing system so that all those pesky desyncs that we get where it says sync failed and you have to resync the entire scene, that shouldn't happen anywhere near as much and when it does happen we'll be able to automatically recover from that by just sending small parts of the file over instead of the whole file again yeah. and that's getting close to getting done we're reworking the entire system um, so it's actually going to be syncing a lot more data which should mean that you'll have to resync significantly less yeah and it's yeah happen. it'll be hopefully as responsive as it is now um, I think this would be more responsive, it's, actually. In terms of speed, it might take a little bit longer, but it's doing a lot more data, so it's much more effective. But it's not going to lock the and UI. And it won't the UI. That's the important thing. So the UI will remain buttery smooth. That's what we're aiming yeah. for. Because a few people have also said lagging the UI is an issue. So we're going to take care of that and actually sync pretty much everything. So yeah. All the data, all of it. Pretty much anything that can be synced, will be synced. So, so animation data, shaders, um, yeah. shape keys, the works. So if you change something, I think even you were mentioning meshes, you've done something new in meshes. Yeah, I'm currently at the moment working on mesh data, so all the vertices and edges and things. If you change one of those, it will get um, populated over to the servers My immediately, mind. which is going to be fantastic. So I'm looking forward stay to Stay tuned for that. I mean, that's going to be pretty awesome. Imagine like just editing a mesh and having that sync to like nodes in the cloud or in your local network and having being able to render it straight away. So you can just, yeah, be creative. And that's going to be fantastic. So make sure you subscribe both to YouTube and to our website so you can stay up to date because we do do a lot of development and post updates as regularly as we can. And the best way to find out about new software which fixes issues and brings new features is to be subscribed. Otherwise, you may not hear about it. So make sure you do that. And yeah, thanks guys. See you in the next one. Bye.